Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we are going to be talking about hiding the header and footer of your page in order to create a cover or landing page. So these are really beneficial if you don't want them to click outside of this page such as they're signing up for a newsletter or filling out some sort of form or something like that. Um, you only want to give them a few options to click on. And this is good because it doesn't have the header and footer which could direct them away from what you want them to do on that page. In Squarespace 7.0, there is a page that you can do this for. So if you go to Pages and select New, it will look a little different than this if you're in 7.0. And you'll see at the bottom under More, you'll see a page called Cover, and you can use that. Now that does limit you to the templates that they have, um, and you may not enjoy or like using those. Um, so this is how you can create a landing and cover page using your own formatting and style. If you're in Squarespace 7.1, they actually do not have this option anymore. They're not having cover pages in the new Squarespace. Um, so this is how you can do that here as well. So I've created a cover page here. So I just have a simple block and maybe it's going to sign up for a newsletter or something like that. And right now you see that I do have a header and footer content here that I'm, I, I don't want them to be able to see. So if you have Squarespace 7.0, you would just click here, create a blank page, add in the content you want to be on that page. Then you're going to hover over the page and select the gear icon. Click Advanced. And you're going to add the following code. Then click Save. Now, since I'm using 7.1, that um, code will not work. So if you're using 7.1, then it's the same process. You just have a slightly different code. So you create a new page, add the content you want, select the gear icon, advanced, and then copy and paste the following code. So they've just renamed what the header and footer sections are called, and so that's why we have to alter this code just slightly for 7.1. So now when I click save, you can see that there is no header and no footer, so they have to click on the few options that I've given them on the landing or cover page. And that is how you create a cover or landing page in Squarespace 7.0 and Squarespace 7.1.